welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the new AMD 810 5800K APU. This is a desktop processor. Comes built in on the die with a graphics um, GPU cores. Okay, so we're going to look at those more in, uh, in, in depth here because we've got four cores that are the CPU. We've got the GPU core, everything on the same die, okay, on the same chip. It has this pile driver uh, architecture similar to the um, uh, FX chips and um, you can see here that it has the HD 7660D that's the AMD Radeon graphics uh, that it's using this is my test system that I have installed the chip on as you can see this is a low wattage low voltage uh, APU and um, it's using the socket FM2, so you do have to get that specific type of uh, socket motherboard. You can't just put it in an A3 uh, socket, okay? And um, right now, 3.8 gigahertz uh, would be the max. With turbo mode enabled, you can have this 4.2 gigahertz. Right now, it's on power saving mode, right? Default settings, nothing overclocked in the BIOS, so it's fluctuating the uh, megahertz back and forth, um, you know, depending on the demand on what you're doing on your computer. This is a good entry-level PC, you know, do your home office, work on it, some light gaming, you can set up a home theater PC. It doesn't have level three cache, just level two cache, four megs of it. As you can see here, I put eight gigs of RAM. I'm running it overclocked, the RAM, and it's running very nicely, stable. Um, you can see the temperatures are ultra low with this Antic Cooler 920. I'll do a separate review on that one. And uh, I'll also do a separate review on overclocking this, by the way. But um, don't expect too much. I mean, while it is unlocked and you can overclock it, it's not, you know, crazy overclocking to 5 gigahertz necessarily, but you can get a decent couple hundred uh, um, megahertz, no problem. Now, running some game benchmarks, like I said, some light gaming, light usage, great performance there for the price. Here are the GPU and CPU scores if you want to compare that to other APUs or the Intel Core i3, which is really what it's competing against. If you if you're really looking for something from Intel that compares to it, it would be the Intel Core i3, uh, and there is an example. Okay. Now again, here are some more benchmarks: 3D Mark 11, okay, DirectX 11, showing you some uh, GPU scores as well. Cinebench gives you some points there on how this is doing. Again, running at 3.8 gigahertz. It's not uh, necessarily the fastest, but then again, it's not meant to be, right? And um, it's meant to be a stable home office, light gaming type of PC. Now, you can run games in high settings, depending on the game, of course, and get some decent frames per second. As you can see here, um, I did run it on three games, three other benchmarks for you, just to give you a variety of ideas on how this uh, built-in uh, GPU does. Crisis 2 on the highest settings. Uh, maximum frames per second I can get was 33 uh, frames per second. As you can see, you'll have to lower the um, display settings down if you want to get it to run smoother, okay? But, I mean, if you're doing um, World of Warcraft and some light gaming online, stuff like that, it's great for that. Sniper Elite version 2, you can see here the benchmarks. Again, it really put it to the test. Benchmarks, frames per second, were quite low because, again, of the type of benchmarks that it does. Now, Dragon Age 2, however high frames per second on that running it on medium settings so very good results there again it depends on the game for $130 like I said compares to the Intel Core i3 okay depends whether you're an Intel person AMD person whether you want four cores if you want that extra turbo mode running up to 4.2 gigahertz which is awesome built-in GPU core on there so you don't have to buy a separate graphics card so you're saving money right there also think about that and um, it'd be great for home theater PC or just an extra office PC. Great usage out of that. Okay, you can have Ifinity plugged in on it, no problem. And um, definitely recommend it for that use only. Okay, so again, comment below. Let me know what you think. And I'd like to thank AMD for providing it. Hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.